In this tutorial, we're going to briefly go over the smart search feature in the DVR software. And uh, smart search is really handy because it allows you to pull up previously recorded footage and you can select an area on the screen and the DVR software will analyze that area to determine if any motion occurred in that specific area and it will actually jump to that that frame and start playing back from the point in time where motion occurred so if maybe maybe you have a, a, a set of keys or maybe a wallet and you're trying to figure out who took it if the wallet is sitting on a desk you could use the smart smart search feature to pull up the recorded footage that shows the wallet on the desk and you could draw a square around the wallet and it's going to jump to the point in time where that wallet was moved because if the wallet was moved there was some sort of motion that occurred in that square that you selected so in order to access that feature you would click the playback button here and you need to just you need to you need to pull up the footage that you're interested in using the smart search feature on uh we're going to go to Here. We're going to go to the 12th and we'll go to the 3 o'clock hour here. Okay. Now, to take advantage of Smart Search, and again, I just double click this square to enlarge the image. To take advantage of Smart Search, you need to click this camera panel button here. and click smart search and then this allows you to draw a square on the screen for the area that you want any any motion or activity to be analyzed for and you just you just click the square and then you let go and there it is it jumped to the point in time where there was motion now just so just so that you understand what just happened we started viewing at three o'clock after we drew this smart search square it jumped to 307 and it showed where some motion was occurring in that particular square and now it just jumped to another point in time where there was more motion so you, you you're seeing the feature work in real time I'll go ahead and click it to disable it. I'll double click this to shrink it. And it's really that simple. Uh, if, if there's a particular area of interest that you want to determine whether or not there was some activity, you just use this feature to draw a square in that particular area and the software will jump to the frames where activity occurred in that specific area on the screen.